Good morning and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. As I'm starting this, I realized I needed to check something. Um, I'm Kim and I'm your hostess at this podcast about knitting and sewing and a little and dyeing and spinning of yarn. Uh, and I do all of that right here in my home outside of Lima, Ohio. And I live here with my hubby and my puppy Ginger Snap and my kitty cat Purdy. I should explain. Purdy is spelled P-U-R-D-Y because my husband and I both graduated from Purdue and so we wanted to honor Purdue. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. This is episode 81 and today is August 30th. Wow, this month is almost over. We just had our county fair last week and it just didn't feel like it should be fair time already. We've just had a weird summer. So anyways, it feels like it should be August. And it is August. I mean, as far as temperature and everything and the weather. Oh, I should warn you, I may not get to complete this all in one sitting because my husband is going to be coming and taking me to the doctors. And since I probably won't hear him pull up, my puppy will probably start barking when it's time. So uh, I might be finishing this when I come back home. Sorry, I just realized I had to put my brace back on, especially since I'm going to see the doctor. So anyways, um, today, okay, I told you what today is. We have, oh, I didn't check today. Last che I checked, we had 96 subscribers on YouTube, and we have a new member to our Ravelry group. Welcome to Mom's a Little Off, I like that name, by the way, who's Peg from Washington. <laughs> This mom has been off many, many times, whether a little bit ditzy or a little bit just needed time off. Anyways, um, sorry, I know that sounds horrid to do Velcro on the, there. You're going to see me bend over quite a bit because I did not put my stuff on, on my desk in front of me. So, you know, might as well get started and that way there'll be less to be interrupted when it's time. So, I do have my daughter's memory blanket, but like I said, until I get, to, probably not till I get back from my, from seeing her, will I work on it again. I need to get some yarn for the color I'm getting ready for, and uh, I told my husband I wouldn't, even though I ordered something else from Knit Picks this week, which he knew about. It's fair. He knew about it. Okay, first thing up. In my Simply Socks yarn bag. Da -da. Got that with free with some sock yarn I got from them. I like them because they're from, from Fort Wayne. And I used to live in Fort Wayne for a short time. This is my Twisted Trail. Honestly, I didn't think I'd get any done on this this week. But I sat down last night after I'd worked on CC Sock for a while and everything. And I thought, okay, let's see what we can do. So there's a little marker right there. And that's actually where I started last night. And I got up to there. So, you know, that that's okay. That's all pretty and everything. But, you know, I love the cables. Twisted Trail by Lisa K. Ross. Such a beautiful pattern and sweater. And I think before long I should be ready to go on to the next phase of it. Yay! So, anyways, that's made with some of my um, homespun yarn. Not homespun. Some of my home dyed yarn. Napier's Knits Yarn. Um... I haven't put any for sale yet. I will have to wait and see. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to use the other skein or not. Anyways, that could be found on Lisa K. Ross's site. It is a pay for pattern, but that's because I always feel like it's okay to pay for patterns for my grandkids. Next up, ta-da! Sorry, I have to bend over. You know, hey, you have to disappear once in a while. So guess what? I finished it. Yay! One sock. Yay! Yay! See, I was there last week, finished all the way to the top. I got to the ribbing and it's like, you are not going to stop. So I finished that sock and I have just started the toe of number two. Oh my. Anyways, as I said, my dog, you would tell me, tell me when my hubby's home. And yes, my hubby's home. Sorry about that. She loves to announce it. So I only have another couple seconds, but I did want to finish this anyways. Um, so I've just started the toe of the second sock. 
Ta-da! I love this sock length. It is so gorgeous. So you can see I'm getting ready to go into some bunny rabbits before long. I love looking at it, seeing how it works up into the sock. It's just so cool. Anyways, um, I will go on to do my things that are on my needle still. Then I will have to take a break again. So, okay. I did not work on the hat that I started last week because I discovered that CC's needed to be done this Sunday. So I've been working like crazy on that. I've been working on Myla's shawl because I love it. But I had to start my double knitting over because I had just made such a mess of it. And I must say, I am so much happier with it now. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I guess I've actually started the design. So isn't that pretty? This is um, the Graceful Lily out of Knitting Double by um, Anya Bell. And my yarn is Knit Picks Palette. This is Marine Heather. And this is Mist. So yay. I think that is it for what's on my needles. And the only thing that I have finished this week are a sock of my Hello Spring socks and a sock for CC's, which I cannot show you the entire sock. I can just show you the color. So, sorry about that. Cannot show you the pattern yet. She was taking pre-orders on these, but I don't know if they're all gone or not. You could go over to her Java Pearls design and see what and see if they're still available if you're interested. I can't remember. She, along with the pattern, she was going to send a skein of yarn from Al Knit with you. I think what it is, and um, a progress marker, I think or a, a, what something like that and so it, it was all going to be set in one package um some of the stuff is coming from the uk and some is coming from the united states so it is it's like 60 dollars for the kit but cc stuff is amazing it is really amazing okay um that is it for what's on my needles and what i have finished so i am going to take a break now Go see my doctor, see if I get this lovely, lovely thing off my hands. And maybe when you see me in a minute, I will be without a splint. That would be so nice. Okay, I'll be right back in a little bit. Well, I made it back. Look, it's gone. Yay! He told me I won't have the full strength back for, you know, twisting or holding things for a year. But you know what? It feels so much better than it did. Yay! Okay, let's go on with what it is that, um, that's been making me so happy this week, other than giving this off. Well, you all know I'm going to see my daughter. Well, I think I've told you her husband, my daughter's husband is in the military, and, uh, anyway, so whenever they Skype, my granddaughter always insists on Skyping me afterwards. So even though I'm not happy about him being deployed, I am happy that they went to Skype me afterwards. So I've had some nice little Skypes with them. The other things that make me happy, I tell you, I was so tickled pink. Because I've seen this book um, on a couple different lists and I could not get it. I couldn't get it um, as an ebook or anything. But it's called All Saints. And there's... It says, now a major picture. See, my husband and I don't go to the movies very often. I may get him to go to this one, but I am so excited. I really wanted to read this book. It's a true story. And uh, let me read a little bit about what it says on the back. Newly ordained, Michael Spurlock's first assignment is to pastor All Saints, a struggling church with 25 devoted members and a mortgage well beyond its means. The best option may be to close the church rather than watch it wither any further. But when All Saints hesitantly risks welcoming a community of care and refugees from Burma, former, father, former farmers scrambling for a fresh start in America, Michael feels they may be called to an improbable new mission. Excuse me, my nose itches. Michael must choose between closing the church and selling the property or listening to a still small voice challenging the people of All Saints to risk it all and provide much needed hope to the new community. Together they risk everything to plant seeds for a future that might just save them all. 
I'm excited. Um, I thought this was an advanced copy. It's not. So when I finish it, depending if I decide to keep it or not, I probably will not. I will probably put this in as a giveaway. But first I'm going to read it. And that, so it probably will not be a giveaway till after I get back from California. So anyways, okay. So there's that. And then, so I've had, I, when I first moved to Lima, I had a library card and I would go there quite often. Well, it expired. <laughs> and it's been expired for a while. But with all my book reviewing, I've not really missed it too much. Well, my husband took me to the library a couple weeks ago. And I got myself my new library card. So while I was there, I, um, sorry. I'm expecting somebody to message me. Because I'm supposed to be going out for lunch today. So while I was there, um, I looked at some different categories of books. And I was looking at a spinning book called Yarn Texture. A Knitter's Guide to Spinning, Building Exactly the Yarn You Want. And oh my goodness. In my mind, this is like the best book for spinners. I am just so tickled. And in the back, they include 12 designs for you to do with your yarn. So if you're a spinner, this might just be the book for you. I do have a link on the show notes right beside it where you can go there to purchase it. Same thing with All Saints. So, yay. Okay, I have a crafting book review. As you know, I have lots of books, crafting books. And when I first started listening to podcasts, when I was brand new to it, and I didn't even know there was such a thing as knitting podcasts out there, there was one that really attracted me. And I started listening to it out in California because I would wake up before my grandkids because of the time difference and everything. Well, Alana Dacos, I think it's Dacos, of Never Not Knitting, Hers was the first one I listened to, and I fell in love with it. Well, she put out a couple books. I think I have them both. But this is Botanical Knits. And 12 designs inspired by trees and foliage. So let me just share some of the designs that are in this book. I love them. I've not made them yet. One of the reasons I'm reviewing these books with you guys it's because it gives me a chance to renew my memory as to what's in them and remind me, oh yeah, you want to make that. This one is called Autumn's End. Isn't that gorgeous? Detail work on this. I love that. Um, she doesn't give difficulty levels, but she does tell you, um, like this one's made out of a Barocco Ultra Alpaca Light. Or she also get, tells you the equivalent that you can use, which I always appreciate. Because if I don't have the other, then I can see about the alternate. Or she also recommends the Fiber Company's Road, Road to China Light. So anyways, she includes all that beautiful, beautiful sweater. Nice um, charts to go with it, along with... Um, Measurements of the different things as you go along. Look at that side view. I love this. I can tell it's just going to be a nice fitted sweater. Then she has one called Buds and Blooms. And look at the cute pockets. I, I think that's a cute cardigan. I'm not usually a big cardigan wearer, but I do. Uh, this yarn was from Quince and Company. Or bulky weight wool. That would knit up fast. Anyways. Um, I'm, I don't like doing buttons. Is my issue with cardigans. But you wouldn't have to do buttons. But look at the back. Oh. oh I love it. And then of course she has her charts and everything. Then she has twigs and willows. There's the first picture. I don't know. I like these cardigans. I may just have to make myself a cardigan. A 
couple of them. Or I could make them for my daughter, too. She would like them, too. That's made out of Brooklyn Tweed. Um, worsted weight or wool blend. I'm sorry, worsted weight wool or a wool blend. So, okay. Lots of little buttons. I don't know if I could button those. Then this one is called Entangled Vines. Look at the sh shoulder and the arm. This is the front view. Very nice plain sweater. I like the three-quarter length sleeves. I'm um, weird. I do like three-quarter length sleeves. And there's a little bit more detail of the sleeve. Very pretty. She, they are, she is so creative. And so that was all the sweaters. Now we're going into accessories. <laughs> I haven't had one, one thing in here that I haven't liked so far. You know my rule about keeping a pattern book. I have to have at least two patterns that I like. This one is called Forest Floor. Pretty hat. Pretty hat. It's a slouchy hat. But Ivy Trellis Sock. I like those, but I haven't looked to see if they're toe up or cuff down, and I don't do cuff down. Cuff down. Oh well, maybe I could figure out how to do them. I would just have to do the charts from the top to the bottom. I could do that. I could do that. Then she has, um, is this going to either be a scarf or a cowl? Twin leaf loops. Sorry. A pair of mittens. Ivy trellis mittens. Pressed leaves. That's the the um, stitch that's used throughout the hat. Press, pressed leaves hat. So cool. And Lana just does such a wonderful, wonderful work. I love this hat, too. Oak Trails. Oops. Show the hat. I love that hat. I don't know. I think it's just because it's shaped a little differently. Then Spring Foliage. These are Fingerless Knits, which I love. I stopped telling you what things were made out of. I'm sorry. I'm curious as to see what that's made out of. It's made out of a fingering weight. I have lots of fingering weight. Most of my shelf back there is fingering weight. I don't have much plain, but I can figure something oh, I'm sorry, but I can figure something out. A wrap. Wrapped in leaves. Oh, my goodness. It's a word, a DK weight. Cool. Cool. And then there's a picture of all the items. Like I said, she does such wonderful work. Then they have techniques, abbreviation, uh, resources for the different yarns, which I always appreciate that. Acknowledgements. And that's it. They are, it's an excellent book, Botanical Knits. She's done such wonderful work. And this is another one that, out of everything, there's, there's maybe one item I could do without. But otherwise, I loved them all. So, you know. Oh, I see money being spent on yarns at home. And I do have a link for Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. Um, Underneath the picture of the book on my show notes. Now, let's see. I have been reading so much that I think what I'm going to do is just let you people, if you're interested, you can go to what I've been reading, watching, and listening to and just click on the book review sections. You can see I've read a cozy mystery called Delicious and Suspicious. Then I read the best poems of the Bronte sisters. And then I wrote, read Taking the Falls. The book, when you click on book review, it will take you to the book review, and then I have links. 
If they're available at Amazon and Barnes and Noble, I put links to both. If they're only available at one or the other, then I only put one or the other. So if you're interested, there's that. Then of course there's my daughter's blog. The sol they did the solar eclipse this week. And they had a little party. I guess it was last week. And they had a little party where they um they ate bagels and croissants because they were moon shaped donuts they did some shadow art and oh they just had fun i tell you so anyways that's my week now we do have a knit along going on which is why i'm doing the double knitting scarf and it ends september 30th i will not be here at that point so unless i tell my husband what's to be shipped it may not get shipped till the next month but we will still do the drawing on time so anyways um it's the double knitting with you and me. And you do have to be a member of the Ravelry group, Naturally Kim's Knitting Podcast group, in order to win. If I draw your name and you're not a member, you cannot win a prize. I'm sorry, but I have to do something to because I have I have some active members that are uh, members that post in there and I want to make sure that everybody gets a fair fair shake. And this way I do also also have a better idea of who all is part of the group and who all is active so anyways if you if you want to if you're interested um you have till september 30th just go to the double knitting with you and me thread and you put a picture of your finished object and then if you can put the pattern name underneath it that would be appreciated any other details that you want to um it could not been started before August 1st, though. So anything you start before August 1st doesn't count. I'm not going to get mine finished in time. But, hey, you're welcome to poly dip in other knit-alongs as long as it meets everybody's rules. Okay, prizes. First prize is always a skein of my yarn. And then after that, it depends how many entries I have. For every 10 entries, I add another prize. So it could be a pattern from Ravelry. It could be some other yarn that I have. It could be a lot of different things. If you are ever interested in donating prizes um, to a knit along or a giveaway, please contact me. You can PM me through Ravelry and I'll get back with you and then we can work out how you can get my address and everything. Um, winners are always chosen using random number generator. Okay, let's see. The thread will be locked the morning of October 1st, if I remember since I'll be in California zone and I it will be closed around there, and I will announce the winner that, that week. Um, let's see. I think that's it. So, I think I'm ready to wrap it up today. I loved visiting with you guys, even if it was in two parts. Then I'm going to be getting ready to go to lunch with one of my friends, Jenny. Or, Janie. Jenny was supposed to be there, but Jenny um, has family things to take care of. So, instead, it's just going to be Janie and I, and we're going to go out for lunch and just have a nice visit. So let's see. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. I hope that you do not have any errors in your projects. And if you do, I hope they are very easily fixed. I love all you guys. I didn't say I love you at the beginning, I don't think. But I do, so I'll love you twice. Big hugs. And I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>